this is Justin with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, today I'm going to go through another SketchUp tutorial for you. Uh, this one is using the scale tool in SketchUp to modify three-dimensional objects. Um, you can also check out my tutorial on using the scale tool with two-dimensional objects. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I just want to start off real quick and review where the scale tool is located. Um, it's the little box up here in the in your toolbar, the little brown box, and it's got a little red box around it with the arrow coming out of the corner. So that's where you can find that, or you can also activate it using the keyboard shortcut, uh, the S key. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see, first off, let's go ahead and start off with a just a regular cube or rectangular box and we'll use that for our first example. So previously in um, the two-dimensional object uh, scaling tutorial it didn't really matter how you selected your object because you just had a single face. Um, in this case when you're scaling an object if you want to scale the entire object you need to make sure that you select the whole thing because otherwise it's possible to just scale a single face and you're gonna you're going to deform your object. So if you want to use the scale tool to just make your whole object bigger or smaller, then you need to make sure you drag a box around the whole thing so that you scale the whole thing. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, just like before, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select your object and uh, you're going to type the S key on your keyboard. Uh, that will uh, that will activate the scale tool and then uh, you're ready to use it. So select your object, then type the S key. And what you're going to do is if you just want to uniformly scale your object, uh, meaning if you just want to scale it keeping the same proportions and all that, the easiest way to do that is just going to be to click one of the corner um, scaling grips and just drag it that way because your object retains all of its proportions. So if you're just looking to resize something, the corner grips are probably your best bet. So if you don't want to scale an object uniformly, like for example if you wanted to make this box shorter, uh, what you'd do is you'd select the whole thing, you'd activate your scale tool, and then uh, you'd select one of these top, these top scaling grips, and what those will do is they'll allow you to uh, just scale your object along this blue axis here. So um, along the red and along the green axis uh, your your object would stay the same and you just make it taller or shorter and you can do the same thing with the edge grips if you just want to scale something along the red axis or if you just want to scale something along the green axis you can do that so you don't um, you do need to be a little careful because obviously you're changing your shapes proportions at that point so it's not really the same shape that it was before so you don't really have this cube looking thing you've got kind of a shorter box so just be careful when you're using the tool um, that you know how you want to scale it so you don't mess up all your proportions and make your model look funny so if you wanted to take this object and scale it precisely, like if you wanted to take this box and make it exactly half the size that it is now, what you'd do is you'd select one of these corner grips, and uh, just like with the 2D objects, what you'd do is you'd type in a value of 0.5 and hit enter. And if you look over in the corner here, you can see that it's asking for your scale um, decimal point whenever you activate this. So if you want to make if you want to make something double the size that it was before, you'd hit 2 and hit enter with uh, one of these edge grips, uh, with one of these uh, scaling grips active. So, and you can also do it along the ax axis as well. So, if you wanted to make that double the size, you'd drag this and then uh, type in a value of 2 and hit enter. So you can not only scale uniformly using the corner grips, you can also use the edge grips and scale along an axis like that. So you can be a lot more precise scaling things that way. So one of the great things that um, you can do with the scale tool uh, has to do with bringing objects in from the 3D warehouse. So I did a quick model of the room that I'm sitting in right now um, and I used all components that I brought in from the 3D warehouse but sometimes when people model them they don't necessarily model them to scale or 
um, anything like that. They just kind of draw a model and they don't really care what the measurements are. And so you'll bring stuff in like this desk and it'll be way too big for your model, but it's still a great desk and it's still what you want to use. Uh, what you'd do is you'd use the scale tool to resize it so that it fits properly in your model. So what you'd do is you'd click on this desk to select it. Or I just click once and then I activate the scale tool and you just use the corner grips to resize it to the size that you want. So you can just bring it down to more of a normal more of a normal desk size um, so that it fits in your model. And then yeah, now it fits and it was really easy to resize that. So you're going to probably use that a lot when you're working with stuff in the 3D warehouse just cuz you get such a such a varied um, amount of quality from the models that you pull down in there. So this is a real easy way to make sure that objects that you bring in work the way that you want them to work. So one of the things I want to talk about is um, using the uniform scaling option when working with the scale tool um, when you resize your objects. So right now if you want to scale your object uniformly, I mean obviously the easiest way to do that is with the corner grips and keep the proportions of your object. But if you start using edge grips and stuff like that, as you can see, it kind of deforms. It deforms your model, which can be useful, but it's not always what you want. Well, sometimes you want to use one of these edge grips um, to scale your object uniformly um, without, without using one of the corner grips. And so what you're going to do is, if you look down at the bottom here, there's an option that says Shift equals Toggle Uniform. And basically what that means is if you uh, activate the scale tool um, by clicking on one of the edge grips and then you hold down the shift key while you're doing that, then it forces your object to maintain its proportions while still resizing. Um, so, you know, if you, if you don't have that shift key pressed down and you do this, then, you know, it's changing the way that all your faces come together and all that. But if you hold the shift key down and do this, then you can resize your object um, using not only the corner, but also if you want to resize it along an axis and retain those proportions, you can do that as well. So that's really useful, especially if you've got something like, if you've got a line that's a certain length, and then you want to make sure that your object is the same height, but you want it to retain the same proportions, then what you can do is you can select this edge grip, hold down the shift key, and then go over here and use the inferences to make your object as long as this line over here. So it's really useful as you start working with um, specific lengths and stuff like that. So the other modifier I want to talk about is the uh, scaling about center. Um, and this is really useful when you're working with 3D when you're working with 3D shapes as opposed to 2D shapes. So let's say you wanted to take this cylinder and make it into more of a cone type shape. Uh, what you do is you can just select a single face by clicking on it instead of selecting the whole model and you can activate the scale tool and now you can just scale that single face and when you scale that face SketchUp automatically adjusts your model um, so that all the lines still uh, match up with your new face and all of that. Well sometimes what you want to do is you want to scale around the center right so the default the default way that the scale tool works is it whenever you select one of these scaling points it fixes the other point and then um, it just resizes your object based off where you move the one point well in this case what we want to do is activate the scale tool and if you look down here there's an option that says control equals about center and what that means is instead of fixing that opposite point what it's going to do is fix the center of your fix the center of your face and then it's going to uniformly scale all the way around so it'll it'll move all of the points on this circle away from the center um, at the same distance so if you click this and hold down the control key then uh, it'll scale around if you do this with one of the corner grips it'll scale around the center of your model and the other thing you can do is if you want to do that with an edge grip instead um, you can hold down control and shift and what that'll do is it'll set your center point and it'll also toggle that uniform scaling again. So it'll scale your whole circle um, by the same distance all the way around from that fixed center point. So you can use this to create things like cones and other stuff like that. 
So one of the other things you can do with the scale tool is use it to mirror your objects. So uh, let's say I wanted to flip this object over, but I didn't want to uh, deal with the rotate tool or the flip along options or anything like that. What I could do is select my whole object and then select this top point here and click and drag and enter. A, I could either click and drag down here until um, until my measurement bar reads negative one. That means you flipped your object while retaining your proportions. Or you could also just type in a value of negative one. So if I just type negative one and hit enter, then it'll flip my object, um, or it'll mirror my object along the bottom here while retaining all its proportions. So sometimes you want to just mirror an object in place, right? You don't want to, because uh, the way we did that before, if we mirror this object now it moves it right it's not occupying the same space that it was before um, sometimes you just want to flip an ob or mirror an object but keep it in the same space um, and a great example is this is a component that I'm going to use and I'm going to make a copy of it right here and I want to mirror it in place so I want to flip it around so that these two pieces are face to face against each other but what I don't want to do is mirror it and then have to move my object and all that. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the About Center tool. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to click to activate the scaling option. And then you're going to hold the Control key, the About Center key. And what that's going to do is it's going to flip your object in place. So if you don't hold the Control key down, then it flips your object all the way over here. But if you hold Control and move move this uh, scaling grip until your measurement bar reads negative one then you flipped your object in place so you don't have to deal with re or moving and adjusting where your object is because it's just kinda of done for you so and just real quick one of the other things I want to talk about with the scale tool is right now I've got this object that's sitting behind another object right here and you can't see these scaling grips right but um the nice thing about SketchUp is it makes it so you can see them. All you have to do is put your mouse where you think the scaling grip should be, even if it's behind an object, and it'll actually show up. So it'll show it to you through this other object. So no matter where you're using the scaling tool, even if your object is hidden behind another object, you can still access those scaling grips. So you don't have to worry about moving things around so you can actually see them and all of that. So. Anyway, um, so just kind of wanted to show you real quick one of, the, one of the benefits of using this tool as a mirroring tool is if you have these two components right here, these are two instances of the same component, and now that I've mirrored this in place, all I have to do is edit one of these objects, and the other object will change as well. So it's a big time saver because you only have to model something once you basically only have to model half of your object as long as it's symmetrical and the other half will change with it as well so you can use this to create some pretty cool shapes and stuff like that so um that's one of the that's one of the benefits of using components like this and also using the scale tool as a mirror tool so um, hopefully you liked this tutorial. Um, if you did, take a minute to like this video below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also uh, check out more SketchUp tutorials at thesketchupessentials.com. Um, and you can also click up here in the corner to subscribe. I'm coming out with new SketchUp videos every week. So hopefully these are useful to you. And thanks for watching.